Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So in this video, we will learn about the another com another concept that is component host element. So what is this component host element? So Angular creates an instance of a component for every HTML element that matches the component selector. For example, let's say that here we are having this component, right? So whenever you try to see here, app iPhone card is there. So whenever then any HTML element. So this one is an app iPhone root. These all the things are an HTML elements. So when it matches the component selector, this component selector is nothing but the card.component.ts which we have seen it. So whenever it matches this component selector, Angular creates an instance of that component. Okay. So for every HTML element it matches, it creates a new instance of that component. And the DOM element that matches a component selector is the component host element. So this, this is the place, the DOM element, which it has matched, right? This one is called as an components host element. The contents of a component template are rendered inside its host element. So whatever the content is there inside this one, the template, the CSS, the HTML file for the component, everything will be rendered inside this host element. So this is one thing. These are, these are the points which I want to tell you. Now, if you see here in our example, this app iPhone card, so whatever the things is there, it is the, this app iPhone card is an host element and whatever the content is there, everything is hosted inside this host element. So this is the one thing which you can understand. So now, now we know that this component has it, right? So this one, how we can control this component host element. So binding to the host element. So now if I want to bind any class or any events to this one, so how we can bind it? A component can bind the properties, attributes and events to its host element. So now we're using the component so we can bind the properties, attributes and also the events to its host element. This behaves identically to bindings and element inside a components template. But instead, but instead defining with the host property, but instead defined with the host property in the component decorator. So here we need to define a host property inside the component decorator. I will try to explain you those all things. So now you may be having a doubt that previous to the Angular 17, we have an another thing, another way of implementation of this one. That is nothing but host binding and also the host listener. So these are the two things which you need to understand. So you can alternately bind to the host element by applying the host binding and host listener decorative to the class members. So you can also implement the host binding and also the host listener decorator to class members. Host binding lets you bind the host properties and attributes to the properties and the method. So this one why we will be using is and the host listener lets you bind element event listeners to the host element. The decorator accepts an event name and an optional array of arguments. I will try to explain you those all things. Always prefer using the host property over host binding and the host listener. These, dec these decorators exist exclusively for the backward com compatibility. So I will try to explain to you about the, these two things. What is that one? Host property and also the host binding and the host listener. For, for that uh, simple demonstration, what we need to do is we need to create a component. So that is nothing but I will be creating the hover click component. So let it create. So it will take some time for creation. Let it create. So here the component has been created. Let's go to the uh, what I want to say is so hover click component.ts file. So this is our standalone component. Okay. Uh, I will be going to the app component.ts file and here I will add it in our imports over click component. Okay. So I have added this one also in our app component.html file. Let's go to the app component.html file and I will comment out this all code. So for the safety, not safety. So just in order to have a clear implementation. So do I will be using and here have hyphen hover hyphen click okay so this is our component if you try to see the output for this one here we are able to see have hyphen hover hyphen click now what i want to do i want to implement a host binding and also the host listener to this one so just i want to explain you about this one so for this one what we need to do is we need to go back to our power click component.ts file okay so now i want to create a host binding variable that is nothing but host binding i want to bind the host so what I want to bind class. So what, what is the class I want to apply forward. And here you will be having a variable is hovered. And for the time being, so for the first time it will be false. So that means it will not be applied. Okay. So now if you try to see here, I will go and inspect the element for this one. So if you see here, this is our root component. Okay. 
not this is our host component so this is our host element app hyphen over hyphen click and when i try to make this one as a true okay automatically what will happen here so let's try to see in this one so i will refresh this page okay so app hyphen over hyphen click class dot hover okay we have used it so we'll try to see these all things so i have restarted this uh, server so now when i try to make here here class dot hover is hover is equal to true a class is has been applied to the host element now if i try to make this one as a false now the class the hover will not be applied so for this app if no class will not be applied so now if i try to make this one as a true now it will be applied so if you try to see here class hover will be applied so that means host to binding so this property so or this decorative decorator is used to append or to add any bindings or any attributes to the component host element okay so now you may be perfect about this host binding so now i will be making this one as a false okay so now this is the main use of this host host uh, what i want to say is host binding now another one is a host listener okay host listener so this one is a host listener so when i use this host listener this should be imported from the angular core so host listener so for which one for which event i need to listen click event okay and i will be writing the method on click okay and here i will write console dot log console dot log element click so this is one is the so now what i have did is so now what here i have did is so here what i have applied is if you try to observe carefully so i have applied to the host element a click event listener and when we we click on that one so this method will be executed now if you try to see here in our console and if i click on this one here directly element click has been fired so that means so through for the host element so here what i want what i am trying to say is to the host element so whenever you want to apply any attributes to this host element if whenever you want to apply any attributes to this host element or if you want to add an event listeners for this one so we can use this host binding and also this host listener so it can be mouse event or mouse center mouse leave anything you can use it and this host binding also you can use it without any problem you can use it so this is the main thing about this host binding and the host listener in angular 17 we have another way of implementation so this one for the backward compatibility so this is will be working in angular 17 you can use it or in angular 16 also you can use it but here in our angular 17 we have a special type or another type of implementation so it is recommended to use the type of implementation that is nothing but so we will be using the host okay host property in the component decorator i will try to explain that one in our next video now hope you understood about this host binding and host listener i will try to show you with a simple example in our next video so that you can have a clear picture about this host binding and a host listener so i will commit this code in our new branch that is nothing but 11 hyphen video okay oh it has become uh, one hyphen video should be 11 hyphen video okay uh, why only one yeah one 11 hyphen video so i will be committing this entire code so there is nothing but host binding and host listener so i will commit this entire code so whoever want to refer this code and all everything so i will be providing the github repository url in the description below so you can have a take a look at that one and if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you